As you all know, a dream recently ended Minecraft Manhunt with the epic ending to the Five Hunters grand finale. But this left fans asking what Dream's next series would be. Could he bring back Minecraft Hitmen? Maybe he would do a death swap series? Or was Dream going to come back with something that would break the internet? Well, not exactly. Instead, Dream's first upload in the new era was Minecraft 100 Floor Survival. Now, the remainder of this video is not coming from a place of hate. I am a massive fan of Dream and in my the success he has produced with a stupid little block game. But you read the title correctly. Today, I will be discussing why Dream is accidentally killing his channel. This discussion will be looked at from both a viewer and business perspective. I would love for you to listen to what I had to say, as I think Dream has a big, big problem coming his way. First of all, we really need to look at the issue with Dream's latest upload. Dream, George and Sapnap are all placed inside a small arena as mobs, fake dreams and even Bedrock are attempting to kill the three of them. The goal was to make it 100 levels without dying. Major spoilers ahead as the three of them only made it to halfway. Now what was wrong with this video? I mean, it can't be too much different from his previous videos, right? Well, the truth is, it is staggeringly different from his Manhunt style content. You see, each and every YouTube channel has some kind of branding, and Dream is no different. Dream's brand is simple, intense Minecraft videos. And if we go into more detail, Dream's best and most recent videos are centered around people hunting him down before he completes a certain task. In these videos, Dream pulls off crazy plays in Minecraft that the viewers never see coming. It is a simple idea, yet it is pure brilliance. Now, the question is, did Dream's latest video follow this same branding? The answer is a strong no. You can argue it was intense in some moments, and that is correct, but it failed to produce the same elements that Dream's Manhunt style videos had. Was Dream being hunted down by his friends? No. Did Dream pull off any plays that broke the internet for that week? No. This video simply didn't fit Dream's current branding. It was more of a fun, relaxing Minecraft challenge, similar to something you would see on George or Sapnat's channel. It was bound to fail if you really think about it. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, this is interesting and all, but how is is Dream accidentally killing his channel? On YouTube, there is a term creators use called reach. This essentially means how far YouTube will push your video to viewers all over the world. Similar to branding, every YouTube channel has some kind of reach. And if you couldn't already tell, Dream's reach is gigantic. If you watch Minecraft at all on YouTube, there is an extremely high chance that Dream's latest video will be pushed to your recommended. But what does this have to do with today's discussion? You see, now that Dream's latest video has underperformed, formed, his reach will be smaller on his next upload, meaning it will be harder to get higher views. Interestingly, there is a good example of this happening on Dream's channel. I want you to think back to July last year when Dream uploaded the Five Hunters rematch. Remember the one where Dream casually drifted a boat on top of a gas head? Well, unsurprisingly, it ended up reaching 70 million views. Then, two weeks later, Dream uploads Minecraft Speedrunner vs. Two Assassins, a 16 minute Minecraft challenge where no major plays occur as it is suddenly cut short by George. This video ended up with 21 million views. Now, obviously 21 million views is nothing to laugh at, but it has nothing on the previous 70 million manhunt. Then it was time for Dream to upload the Five Hunters finale and it finished on 34 million views, half of what the previous manhunt produced. Now, I'm sure there are other factors that contributed to this sudden drop in views, but I believe it came down to Dream's reach. He had a banger, then a video underperformed. He then uploaded a another video which deserved to hit the 70 million mark again, but it didn't. Dream was simply put punished for uploading a video with bad statistics. And this is where the problem begins. If Dream's next video after the 100 floor survival doesn't fit his brand once again, not only will the video underperform in general, but his reach will be hurt even more, meaning his views are almost guaranteed to drop for his next upload. Now, the reason I emphasized almost is simple really. Dream can bring his original reach back if his videos begin to fit in line with his channel's branding again, that being intense manhunt style content. He can go back to hitting Mr. Beast level views again, continue breaking the internet and so on and so forth, but Dream really needs to consider his next moves carefully. Now, how
how should Dream fix this potential issue in the future? Well, to be honest, he needs to figure it out fast. With Dream's manhunt style content, he averaged 20 to 30 million views a video as of recent times. From what I can tell, I don't see Dream ever hitting those numbers again with the fun, quirky challenge videos he will be making from now on. If I were in Dream's situation, I would start by uploading these challenge videos on the Dream Team Gaming channel. It is clear some people do enjoy the more laid back Minecraft videos and that is totally fine. But uploading these videos to his main channel is not the correct play here. But then what would Dream upload on his main channel? Well, I know this might sound stupid considering he just ended it, but Dream has to switch back to his intense manhunt style videos. The thing is, Dream has a gift when it comes to playing Minecraft and it would be a shame to watch him waste it. There are a lot of channels now trying to replicate what Dream has done and some are doing very well for themselves. But there is a reason why Dream was the number one manhunt channel. He simply does it the best. Whether it is the clutch half heart escapes, the plays nobody can replicate, or even the meticulous editing he does through the use of music, Dream is and always will be the king of manhunt. Now, what I'm about to say might catch you off guard, but hear me out. I don't think Dream should continue manhunt as six hunters is next up, and from a viewer's perspective, that is just simply too many people for one video. I believe Dream needs to start a brand new series that takes certain factors of manhunt and turns them into something new and unique. The best way Dream can do this is by changing the goal and or objective. You see, manhunt followed three simple steps. Dream spawns in the overworld, grabs blaze rods and then depels from the nether and then defeats the dragon in the end. That right there is a storyline. Every manhunt led to the same moment, killing the ender dragon. Now, instead of Dream's goal being killing the ender dragon, he could potentially have to complete all advancements or maybe even summon the wither and defeat it. Either way, this opens a whole new realm of possibilities and creates a brand new storyline for the viewers to understand and follow along. Let's say Dream's new goal was to defeat the wither. He would spawn in the overworld, get all the basic loot together, find a way to obtain a looting free sword, then enter the nether, find a fortress and begin killing wither skeletons. Once he has attained free willow skeleton skulls, he then heads back to the overworld, summons the wither and then attempts to defeat it. Now, pair that with, for example, three hunters hunting him down the entire time. This then opens up the possibility of Dream completing the big brain plays we all know and love. And just like that, we have a brand new series, which is similar to Manhunt, but different enough to be considered unique. It simply all comes down to the new goal slash objective that Dream must complete. One question remains now, that being what is next for Dream? Truth is, Dream could continue to make the fun Minecraft challenge videos with his friends, and that is okay. Maybe Dream ended the Manhunt style content due to creator burnout, or maybe he wants to take the Dream brand in a different direction. But I am just afraid that if he continues down this path, Dream's channel will slowly start to fade away as he will become just another Minecraft YouTuber. Dream has a gift in both Minecraft and producing videos that sometimes rival mainstream movies. I just don't want to see such a beautiful concept end so shortly. He needs to make the success at a manhunt. Otherwise, I fear Dream will accidentally kill his channel. Thanks for watching everyone.